Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally at Blackhawk Farms Raceway. This is a nice scenic view from the upper deck. And to start with, I just want to walk through what you're going to encounter at Blackhawk Farms Raceway Track Day. First up is tech inspection. So you drive your car in, get out, pop the hood, pop the trunk, and then the mechanics are going to go ahead and look around and make sure that there's nothing leaking, there's nothing loose. They're going to shake the tires, uh, check the tread depth, your brakes, uh, brake pads, and make sure that you're good and safe for yourself and everyone else on course. These are the cleanest restrooms you're ever going to find. I know this because I spent much time in here regretting bringing a 90 horsepower car to a track that has a straightaway that's almost a third of a mile long, so please don't remind me. These guys are going to sit here hopefully all day just idling. They're there in case something catastrophic happens, but knock on wood, these guys don't move all day. Besides that, you are going to find a wonderful breakfast. Uh, I recommend the biscuit and steak sandwich, without a doubt a tasty track treat. Just make sure you get all that grease off your hands so you're not just sliding down the wheel. When you get started though, if you're a novice, you are going to do a informational meeting in the classroom. So they're going to teach you about the racing line, where to track in, where to track out, how to turn, brakes, looking for dangerous things. But otherwise, here's the actual track itself that we're going to be getting on. So here's a quick view of the front stretch with some nice cars going down it. There's a lot of Camaros, there's a couple Ferraris, tons of Mustangs today that did not run to the crowd, which is great. Here's the back stretch. So if you're waiting, I'm about to show you my, or one of my good maps. Nope. Come by soon. Yeah, I was getting nervous, I'm like, where's my car? So what you're seeing here is one of my better laps of the day. You can see it was getting some rain, a little bit of light drizzle. So it did affect the handling, but not too bad. This is not my best lap of the day, but it, again, uh, due to technical difficulties, we'll call it that, this is one of the better ones you're going to see on camera. I, again, apologize for the shakiness. Uh, it's a new mount, and I do have the GoPro footage, but the GoPro footage is still on the car, which is, if you watch the intro, not currently in my possession. It is at the shop, so I will update you in that momentarily, but otherwise, sit back and enjoy this quick ride. So what you're now hearing is the slave cylinder falling off in action. So what happens when your slave cylinder falls off is you can't change gears anymore when the car is on at least. So at this point I'm thinking, oh God, what is wrong? And let's get this thing out of here before I put myself or someone else in jeopardy. So I coast in and luckily there is a little bit of a runoff right over here. So the engine was fine. I knew that was a good sign. I checked behind me, no fluids, either, either all been gone, but then I looked down at the gauges and those were fine. So we had oil pressure, we had coolant. And so finally the wrecker came out for me. And 
this point the wrecker comes out and uh, I get a nice tow back to the paddock area which is the first for me actually kind of fun so here's a little bit of that ride and my thoughts as it's occurring riding in style not even using her own gas saving the world one at a time <laughs> Yep, that's where we're at. So I may have injured her, but she's not down for the count. So we loaded up on the tow truck and we drove it to a local mechanic. And we're going to lose out next week on a track day. But that does, of course, give us more time to make some more money for ourselves. Otherwise, here are a couple awesome pictures that my amazing sister took for us. So if you like this episode, this update, please do like and subscribe for more content in the future.